question? Coach, I know that this, this is just um, you know preseason exhibition, but how excited are you for to you know just to be back on that sideline in the, in the game? I, don't know, I said it yesterday. Excited probably isn't the word, but um, you know, good to be back. <coughs> Interested to see our team and these new pieces that we've added, and uh, how they'll look with the stuff we implemented against a different opponent. Finally, you know, we've been going at each other for the last week or so. Jeff Green talked in practice about how it's not necessarily all about the results. It's process, seeing how things are working. What are you looking from your, you know, looking for from your guys tonight beyond just win and loss? Yeah, carry over from what we've done the first week and a half. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we saw some good results in, in the things that we were really stressing, uh, areas of weakness from last year and areas we want to improve on. And so uh, guys are grasping certain things well and quickly. <coughs> and so we want to see carry over from that. Um, you know, starting to sharpen up some areas uh, that were looking a little raggedy early in, in practices. But uh, we've gotten better and better each day. And we want to see that carry over into the game against the live opponents. You highlighted. Uh, transition defense, kind of one of the points of emphasis defensively. Offensively, I know you've preached kind of that uh, unselfish nature of play that you want this group to have. What has been kind of the main point or main takeaway that you've hoped that you've tried to instill upon this group throughout training camp and going into this first game? You know, good to great is a big theme with us. Uh, passing up a good shot to get a great one. We're uh, playing for your teammates, uh, whether it's isolation, you have an advantage. It's not always for you. But, um, the guys that can get to the basket and do certain things, uh, guys rely on you for shots. And so, you know, we talked about our uh, trends, our, our offense, you know, poor shot selection at times, uh, aiding other teams in their, in their fast break points as well as turnovers, of course. So we wanted to be tight in those areas, get good shots, uh, take care of the basketball, limit their, the, the opponent in the, in the transition, and, you know, see what we do defensively in the half court, you know, really challenging our guys to guard one on one. So those are all kind of a carryover from each other. Go ahead, Charles. Charles. Uh, Tyrese Halliburton tonight, do you see any similarities between him and Ahmed? And then uh, what do you really want to see from I would say the size, you know, he's a, he's a big, another big point guard. Uh, I think about five, six, five, six, six. Uh, you know, obviously <coughs> shoots it at a high level and has done it uh, for a few years now. But um, I would say the size and passing ability with both of those guys. Um, I think I'm a little bigger and more defensive minded, and, and <coughs> Tyrese is probably more of an offensive threat right now with the shooting ability. But um, from a man, just just continue to do what he's been doing great. Um, very instinctual and a little awkward game, but um, you know he does a lot of things that can't teach and so we want him to continue to be aggressive uh, but unselfish he's one of our best passing passers and he's finding guys all over the gym so far and so I want to see that pace and that burst and he kind of just changes the game when he comes in with this with this speed and athleticism. Coach how important is it for some of these guys who may not make this roster but have other teams looking at them to perform during the preseason? Yeah I told him every every play every <coughs> game counts uh, you never know when your opportunity is there and you're playing for not only us but other teams in the league as you mentioned and so you know, myself being in that position several times throughout my career, I understand every opportunity is, is golden. And so, you know, with, with us limiting certain guys for a certain amount of minutes, there'll be opportunities for those guys. And so, you know, continue to be ready, um, do the things they've done so well in summer league and open gym and, and, and training camp so far and, and try to, you know, make a name for themselves with us or other team. And so um, every opportunity is, is, is a chance for them to catch some eyes and, and look look good in front of other people, and so uh, that's, that's the message I sent to them. Coach, this is the first NBA real action for guys like Ahmed and Cam. Just thinking back to your rookie season, do you remember some of the best advice you got as a rookie and that kind of carry with you? I always be ready, be prepared. You know, like I said, you, ne- you never know when you're going to get thrown in there, especially in the preseason. And so for those young guys to continue to watch the game and, you know, kind of see the pace of the game, what's happening out there. And, you never know when you get your opportunity. As I mentioned, guys, will, some guys will only play the first half tonight, so there will be opportunity for them. So <coughs> that's it. Be confident, have some fun, uh, but do what do what do what got you here. You know, understanding your strengths and staying away from your weaknesses. As far as your guard rotation, is the plan to have Fred slide over to the shooting guard position once Jalen goes to the bench, and possibly Fred and Ahmed playing together, or is it possibly like Aaron Holiday or somebody else playing that backup shooting guard? Um, Depending on who we take out first, uh, and our man comes in, uh, Fred will play with our men some. But you know, it's a it's a dual thing with those two. Uh, they both can handle, obviously, and, and Fred's just as good off, on and off the ball. And so it's a luxury for playing with a guy like Fred is that others can still handle and can be very effective. And so we'll see what the rotations get to. But um, those guys have played well, and we've matched them quite a bit in training camp so far. What kind of a challenge do Miles Turner and Jarris Walker present on the defensive side of things uh, for guys? 
like Fred, Jalen, a man who are going to be in charge of kind of trying to collapse the defense and create looks for people? Yeah, I mean, Miles has been one of the best rim protectors in the league for a while now. You know, I've coached him in USA Basketball a few years ago, and so I got to know him well. And that's one of his biggest strengths is obviously protecting the basket. So it just goes into more what we're saying is drawing a, a crowd and, and find your outlets. And so for guys to KYP, we always preach, preach that, knowing your personnel, knowing he's going to be at the rim, come over and block the shot. One guys to find their outlets. And so, um, you know, one of the best at it, obviously, Jarris, uh, athletic, young, big, coming back home. And, and so he'll be ready to play as well. He had a good, really good uh, game against Memphis last night. Can you tell us your starting team? Yeah, it'll be Fred, Jalen, Dylan, Jabari, and Alfred. Shocking. <laughs> there we go. Anything else? Thanks, guys. Thank you, Coach. Thanks.